lecture three on how to start a new project. Now that you installed Hira Studio Hub, Unity Hub, and Unity Editor, you can go to projects in Hira Studio Hub, of course, and you're going to click on new project. Now, in here, you will give your project a name. It could be anything. For example, for this video, I am going to call this um, lecture video. It could be anything, literally. And here you can change the location where you want your projects to be. Some of you might want this to be on GitHub. I have more details on the Britain guide. I'm not going to go through all the... Um, or I'm not going to explain in depth about GitHub. But you can also look in here. We have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from. Whether it's a an obstacle course, it's a joystick, or a forest, it could be anything. But for now, I'm going to go with the basics because this is an empty scene and we are going to learn... Uh, from zero so click on create project and this might take a while so just sit tight and wait for it to finish now that our project is open in unity i'm going to explain really quick on how to do things now the first thing is you're gonna get this welcome screen it's just an introduction for studio i'm gonna close that and then you are gonna get the tutorial page it helps you create scripts um learn how to track stuff from the asset catalog, learn how to test multiplayer and upload your project and as well as uploading assets. Now I'm going to skip this tutorial. You can go ahead and just follow the tutorial but I'm going to give you a better one. So I'm gonna go right click and close this. Now if you are fam if you're not familiar with Unity, I've already listed everything you need to know on the documentation page, which is way better than what I'm going to explain right now because this is going to be a bit shorter because of the video so first things first this is the scene there are six panels in here there's the hierarchy there's the scene game and there's inspector and there's the project and the console now the scene is where you do all the stuff where you build your game where you place objects where you do everything literally everything move them scale them and the game is actually where you see the changes that you make live how the game will look like this is from the camera perspective this is from everything this is where you see the avatar and everything now first thing you have to understand that you can move the panels around you can drag them put them wherever you want so if you click on game for example and you just move it like that you can snap it wherever you want i'm gonna put it right here for example and you can just adjust the size and whatever you want now this is this is one now two is basically the project project is where all your um, assets or your models or your scripts everything goes even the audio files literally everything there's assets there's packages packages is basically something that you don't have to worry about because this is external so i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to expand the project just to show you and in here in the assets if you expand the template for example and then the art and then the textures you can see here that this is where we store the textures this is where we store the materials and we have scenes, this is pretty much everything. That's where everything goes, right? And as for the hierarchy, hierarchy is all the objects that we have in the scene. So like I said, you can place stuff in the scene. For example, this cube, if you select it, you can see here that it's selected in the hierarchy. This is where everything goes. Now, the main or the biggest one is the inspector. The inspector is basically the settings. It's, it's more like a settings for every object that you have, you can here, change the position you can change the rotation scale um there's a lot of things here you can add components this is where the material goes this is this is a wider topic which we are going to cover in lecture four so just um stay tuned for that one um this is basically it you will learn how to navigate the scenes so for example if i select this scene right here and if i right click and do w for example or s a d you can move around um, you have a bunch of tools here that you can use, for example, this one to scale, this one to rotate, this one to move, this one to just drag around. There's a lot of things that you should learn. I have them all, I have all of the shortcuts on, or most of the shortcuts on the creator portal. So take a look at them, mess around with the scene, try to move around and just learn how to navigate Unity so we can go or like we can move to the advanced lecture. Now, in the next lecture, we are going to learn the concepts, which is everything that I just talked about. It's the game objects, it's the components, it's basically pretty much how to get started with Studio. So let's move to lecture four on basic concepts.